The fault of this pension crisis is not due to anything that any one of us has done. Every pay period we made our contributions. This crisis was created by the management here at the State House. Four changes in seven years is totally unfair. Totally unfair. Unfortunately, you know, we, we have the proud honor again of being the first in the country to treat teachers, firefighters, state employees as terribly as we're being treated. That's a great honor, isn't it? A great honor. Enough is enough. described as a math problem. This is not a math problem or a simple math problem as some people describe it. This is a civil and human rights problem. Many of you have made your life plans based on the assumption that if you fulfilled your bargain, the state would fulfill theirs. My name is Pat Doolahan. I'm a retired Providence teacher and elementary school counselor. I retired in 1990 and I retired with 28 years of service. I signed a contract and that top contract gave me a livable income of $4,000 a year. It gave me health care and it gave me a pension. A pension, a promise that I would have security in my older eight years. Hey. Now it's 50 years later, and I, as I said, I'm 71 years old. I'm so supportive myself. There is no spouse, there are no children. It's me and me alone. And I do recognize that with a cola on a freeze, huh, uh, for 19 years or thereabouts, I'm not gonna be around to collect it. For 28 years, every two weeks, my money went into that pension. For 28 years. We need to take our money out of this crooked system. Woo! I want you to know that we're not going to stop until we get a fair pension bill. Are you ready? there's a problem. We've said we'd help fix it. But fixing it doesn't make it the worst pension system in the country. And it doesn't take people who have pensions of $15,000 a year and put them in poverty. And the one thing that we can never forget is that we can never forget the people who have made promises to us, who told us to trust them. They have violated our trust. We have to hold them accountable in next year's election. Yeah. And